In this video, I'll be installing a VSC toggle switch on this fourth gen 4Runner. This is a 2008 V8 4Runner. One of my friends asked me to go drifting and I wasn't about to bring my Miata or my S2000 out drifting in the snow. So I said, yeah, I'll take my 4Runner. But in order to drift a 4Runner, you have to disable the traction control system. And the only way to do that is to install a switch to interrupt something in the electrical circuit to make the VSC system turn off. So in this video, I'm gonna do that. It's a quick video. Other people have made videos doing the same thing, but they don't show the whole installation process. So I'm gonna show exactly what wires I use to pull through and the switch I use and how I mount the switch, et cetera. So I just go through the whole process. It's gonna be a quick video, but this last week I installed Bilstein 5100s on this thing. So it has 200,000 miles on it and the 5100s are a heavier duty shock. The initial impression is awesome. The 5100s are great. This had the X-ray suspension on it originally, and it was leaking some fluid. When I opened up one of the shocks, there was no fluid in the system at all. These shocks feel so much better. The car is way more stable at high speeds. I recorded that whole installation process, and I have all the foot footage. I just haven't put the video together yet, and I don't wanna put junk footage out there. I could just put the 30 minute video up, but I wanna make it good, I wanna make the content fresh and new, and I wanna make it useful and concise to the point. All right, getting to the point. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Enjoy the video, have a good day. We're gonna be tapping into a wire under the hood. Pop this fuse cover off and then any blank switch you want. We'll be drilling a hole through this one. Grab some 18 gauge stranded electrical wire. Just make a loop out of it, like this. Get some cheap tape out. I'm just using this green masking tape. And then you wanna tape the wire loop onto this existing wire that is fed through your firewall. Here's that existing wire. You can find that wire underneath your footwell, pull it from inside the vehicle. Here's a look inside the footwell. You can see the wire right up there. Here's a closer look at it. Pull the wire through with the pliers. You wanna make sure the wires reach to this point on your brake master cylinder. Remove this pressure sensor connector. Use an X-Acto knife or just any sharp blade to cut back this sheathing. We wanna interrupt this red wire on this sensor. It's hard to find the center on these. I'm estimating with an X-Acto knife. And then for the length, I'm using the tape measure. Punching the center hole. This is a half inch bit. Clean up some of the burrs with a blade. Test fit the switch. My switch has this locking plastic ring that I can thread on. Here's how it's gonna look. Not bad. Not quite OEM, but it'll pass. Get your 18 gauge minimum stranded wire out. I'm making separate pigtails for this switch. Twist the wires onto the switch and then pull them and make sure they stay. And then bust out the soldering iron and solder the connections as well, just to be thorough. Shrink wrap every connection possible. And then use a heat gun on this shrink wrap. Reinstall the switch with the pigtails back in the car. Now you can cut the loop that you made in the first step. Strip the wires. This is how I mechanically twist wires together. I start with one of the strands and I turn it all the way around the wire and then keep twisting it and then I switch to the other side and do the same thing. 
solder both the connections. Go grab one of your hair dryers. Back to the engine bay. Always check the continuity in your connections if possible. Cut the red wire. Wait, or is it the red wire? Whew. Now you just want those two wires coming out of the firewall to interrupt the circuit. This is what it should look like before you solder them up. I'm just zip tying mine out of the way. If you wanted to, you could install a wire loom or something like that to make it a little bit more incognito. I'd ra rather have it accessible than incognito. Let's test it out. You have to restart the engine before the VSC system will turn back on. 